Hello, my magnificent mangaliers. Welcome to Beware the Hurry Mango, episode 100. Ooh, that was quite an intro. This is your frightening looking host, Matthew Sanborn Smith. Just introducing the real video that's coming up. We sort of screwed up. And it turned out that our second rehearsal was better than the final product, so we went with that. So it looks crappy, but hey, that's what you expect from us, isn't it? This is low-budget shit, folks. <laughs> and, and that's what you pay me for. Ah. Uh, anyway, you pretty much get the whole show that you were otherwise going to get with a lot of screw-ups and no confetti. We had confetti in the final. You'll have to imagine your own confetti. Anyway, here we go. Enjoy. Yeah, so you guys are going to have to come in closer while leaving room for me. Just, what I'm saying is just lean in. All right, Ivory, don't lean in too much. <laughs> what I'm saying is just lean in toward me. Am I on the camera? Yeah, yeah. I can cut off the beginning. All right, so you're going to be ready on that. I feel too close to you, Dad. Oh, well, get over it. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, four. NGO! NGO, NGO, and Mango was its name. Oh, you see, you gotta be ready on that, son. <laughs> Hello, my stonewashed palominos. This is your tax confronting host, Matthew Sanborn Smith, welcoming you to this unique video episode, unless you're only listening, of his Alcatraz laundering podcast, Beware the Hairy Mango. Welcome to my special guest stars, the squeezings from my loins, my daughter, Ivory Elizabeth Smith. Hi. You guys lean in towards me, please. Oh, my bad. Uh, and my son, Ian Alexander Sanborn Smith, also known as The Boy, whose birthday just happens to be today, April 15th. Happy birthday, The Boy. Blow out the candles. As I considered, no, I considered getting this video edited professionally, but then said to hell with that. The ethos of the mango is, to borrow a title from Errol Morris, fast, cheap, and out of control. A little business to take care of. There will be no April 30th mango, but you, re but you only have one day to get all of your bitching in, because the next day begins the second annual funky fresh odyssey known as Mucho Mango Mayo. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's right. It's that time of year once again. Where did that damned year go? I've suddenly got to come up with a whole copse of mango bushes or vines or whatever the hell those things actually grow on. The last order of business is, holy crap, it's the 100th episode of Beware the Hairy Mango! Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Woo! I didn't think you'd make it this far, much less I would, so congrats to all of us on that. To celebrate, we're lowering our already low production qualities. Today's story is a superhero story, like I haven't done half a million of those. Evil would cringe if it ever had to enter the sea and was slowly crawled upon by Lobster Man. Lobster Man by Matthew Sanborn Smith. Lobster Man. No, you can let it run for like about 12 seconds. Lobster Man by Matthew Sanborn Smith. Lobster Man is being played by Ian Alexander Sanborn Smith. The police commissioner's part is played by Ivory Elizabeth Smith. They tried to talk Hiram out of becoming a superhero with the argument that all the good superhero names were already taken, but Hiram had spent his life being talked out of everything, and at 87 years old, he had finally had enough. He saw their bullshit talk as evidence that there were loads of bad names out there ripe for the plucking. He brooded upon his name in a darkened room of his mansion, when, as fate would have it, a lobster flew through his window. He immediately ran down to the lobster cave, which had until only moments before been known as his basement, and constructed an exoskeleton which looked exactly like a giant lobster. From there on, Hiram was on a lobster roll, building gadgets, giving them all stupid names, and meeting the police commissioner, who called him Hiram on the spot. Um, who is this Hiram of you speak? <laughs> of whom you speak? <laughs> Dude, we're the police. Give us a little credit. We looked for the one guy who put 30... 500 gallons of lobster red paint on his credit card. Damn it! Will you keep my secret? I don't really think anyone cares about your secret. So, yeah, sure. Here, if you ever need me, shine this lobster signal into the sky. But make sure it's a cloudy night so I can see it. Or I'll never see it. <laughs> Did you just steal a sign from Lo Red Lobster? No, it was the one on Macedo. They were going out of business. I bought it fair and square. Yeah, okay. Fast page change. 
<laughs> Once you say fair and square, then you should turn the page. Don't wait for Ivory's line. I realize that now. <laughs> Staying in character, that's good. <coughs> mm -mm. I'm an old man, I can cough. Yeah. <laughs> when you're the old man, you can. Listen, I was wondering how you might feel about changing the name of the jail to the Lobster Trap. I just thought that it would be cool. No. How about then, we, when we throw the villains into the asylum, we say we're holding them for lobstervation? No. <laughs> <laughs> so make me laugh. That's okay, you guys can laugh. I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know Batman never had to put up with this shit? You know why? Because Batman is a fictional character. You're just an idiot in a lobster costume. What would you say if I cut a big fat check to the police department? I'd say the city streets are safer with you on the job, Lobster Man. Everything seemed to be going swell for Lobster Man. That is until his first actual mission. The very next night, he saw the lobster signal in the sky, and in his eagerness to race to the scene, he accidentally clipped the steering wheel off of the lobster cart with those big-ass claws of his and put the vehicle into a ditch. He had to walk the rest of the way, and it was daylight by the time he got to the police station. In the meantime, hundreds of hungry people had convened there in the night, thinking Red Lobster had finally opened up a new location to replace the one on Macedo. By dawn, they were starving and angry. When they saw the giant lobster walking toward them, well, let's just say Vinny's... Ah, damn it. <laughs> Well, let's just say Vinny's Melted Butter Emporium <clears throat> had a record sales night. Once the people had discovered the truth and finished eating, they felt kind of bad. Some wondered, since Hiram wasn't actually a shellfish, if this whole thing hadn't been kosher after all. The commissioner just shook his head with sorrow. Over his bullhorn, he shouted, I should say she, you are a woman after all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really done for us. The commissioner just shook her head with sorrow. Over her... <laughs> Bullhorn, she shouted. If all you people had given the Macedo location this kind of business in the first place, none of this would have happened. They hung their heads in shame for not supporting local businesses, but not too low because their bellies were packed. They held an impromptu memorial service for the world's tastiest superhero, although it wasn't a very good one. Say what you will about the service, though, you got a good meal. If this story cracked your tail, you can masticate it and other audible delicacies dribbling all over your bib right here at the cockroach of the sea of the internet. Beware the hairy mango.com. Shriek with delight all over the comments for this post or fog email this daredevilish podcast at Matthew at Beware the Hairy Mango at, oops, wait a minute, at Matthew at Beware the Hairy Mango.com or wrestle your foggy over to Beware the Hairy Mango at gmail.com and get two half Nelsons and change. Little known fact, the SF in the Hugo-nominated SF Signal actually stands for Snappy Frog. And not after the well-dressed Michigan J-Frog, but after a rather sad amphibian found in someone's freezer that later broke in half. SnappyFrogSignal.com Don't you be shellfish. Be sure to inflict this awful podcast on your family, or even your loved ones. Company loves misery. I wanted to say tweet an athlete to jump... You brought that up a little early. Yeah, I, know. I wanted to say tweet <laughs> an athlete to jump early. the hurdles... No, she brought this up a little early. I wanted to say tweet the athlete... Can we put that down? <laughs> tweet, oh, no, tweet, you just tweet, 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 tweet. Let me try again. Tweet it. Let me go back to here. Okay. Don't you be shellfish. Be sure to inflict this awful podcast on your family or even your loved ones. Company loves misery. I wanted to say tweet an athlete to jump the hurdles of their intolerance and follow me at twitter.com slash upwithgravity. But then I realized that athletes don't hang out on Twitter. They're out doing stuff. So tweet all your fat, dumpy friends to eat the Cheetos of their intolerance and follow me at that thing, yada, yada, yada. Imaginary Cheetos. <laughs> I don't have anything cute to say about the donate button this time around, so instead I'll just say, hey, give me money, you bastards. This podcast shakes, rattles, and rolls like your favorite nursing home doo-wop group before leaking out of their... Uh, gotta, gotta swallow my spit before I start that. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast shakes, rattles, and rolls like your favorite nursing home doo-wop group before leaking out of their poorly fastened Creative Commons attribution non-commercial share-like 3.0 imported licenses. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Thanks to Police Commissioner Ivory Elizabeth Smith. Bye. And Lobster Manny and Alexander Sanborn Smith. I shall protect. For their faces, voices, artwork, and whatever else they might have done when I wasn't looking. And just like every other goddamn time, this has been your Playmate of the Month, Matthew Sanborn Smith, saying my turn-ons include transition sunglasses, Spidel eye dents, and lovers who know how to touch my donate button. Good, Good night! night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>
Give us some outro. You know what? What should I do? Once uh, I once I say uh, Creative Commons Attribution Non Commercial Share Alike 3.0 <laughs> Imported Licenses, then you hit the outro music, which is oh. this. And you start it from the beginning. Thanks to Police Commissioner Ivory Elizabeth Smith and Lobster Man Ian Alexander Sandworth Smith for their faces, voices, artwork, and whatever else they might have done when I wasn't looking. And just like every other goddamn time, this has been your Playmate of the Month, Matthew Sanborn Smith, saying my turn-ons include transition sunglasses, spidel eye dents, and lovers who know how to touch my donate button. Good night. Good night. <laughs> every time, Ian. <laughs> All right, let's see how it looks. Good. It's the 100th episode of Beware the Hairy Mango! Yay! Come to Freddy! <laughs> okay.